Hey guys, it's Julie. Actually, I actually state my name for a change. This video is a response to Julie Jontify. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'll list it, of course. She's asked me several times about what do I do for moisture. Right now, there are many, many ways to moisturize your hair. Of course, water is one, gels are one, some people use creams. This is just something that I use. Maybe somebody else may like it. It may help them. I don't know. But this is for you, Julie, from Julie, so I hope you like it. But we're going to get started, and we're going to focus down on our ingredients. Iceland moss, which as you know, has lots of mucilage. It helps your hair to hold on to moisture, first of all. Helps it to retain moisture. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. These herbs, sometimes they get jangled up. Birch bark, which stimulates the scalp for hair growth. I know you think birch bark, that's crazy. But this is also real good to put in your tub for relaxation. That's a good manly smell if you're making things for men. Doesn't too much have a smell, but Native Americans have used birch for thousands of years. Also, bay leaf, which I have to have a smell of this. This is one of, oh man, this is one of my absolute favorite smells. But bay leaves, antifungal, it does have a little bit of mucilage in it. Of course, you know mucilage, which is the slime, helps to smooth the cuticle. It also helps your hair because it is kind of a jelly-like of the plant per se helps you to hold on to that moisture better. Also, uh, aloe vera gel. Now this is actually gel. I have another bottle that has it blacked out and it says juice, but this is actually the gel itself. And I'm gonna show you how I do some of the things that I make. And the end product is gonna be this. Now it looks kind of weird and you think, what the heck? But you'll see in just a minute. And we're gonna focus down on the bowl. We're going to, let me get a spoon. Here we are. I'm just going to make a small batch because I already have enough for the week for myself. A spoon or two. I usually have glass bottles, recycled bottles. You don't have to buy a bottle. This had lemon juice in it. Of course, you know I am big on recycling and using what you have, so this is a reused bottle. As you can see, there are herbs kind of floating in there. You can actually see the bay leaf. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to make a small batch. A little bit of birch bark. We're going to do a teaspoon of Iceland moss. Because I can put all this in the jar later. We're also going to use a birch leaf. Oh man, this is great for making soup and stuff too. We're going to do birch leaf. And pretty much what we're doing is infusing the gel. I know that sounds kind of crazy. But you can pretty much infuse almost anything. You can infuse water, you can infuse alcohol, you can infuse vinegar, you can also infuse aloe vera gel. Put what you want in your gel. This is not per se, oh, this is the number one. For me, it has been a number one. But you may not like these herbs. You may want something a little bit different. But these are the herbs that I chose to use. Uh, one of the big things I will say, too, about using the bay leaf, because aloe vera gel has to be refrigerated, as you know. Um, I use bay leaf because sometimes I strain it and keep it in a little glass container in my in my cabinet in the bathroom for the mornings when I use it and uh, that birch, not birch, but bay leaf helps it to last a little bit longer. It helps cut down on any kind of nasty germs growing in there. After we get everything in the bowl, and we're going to stay down on the bowl, this, this is kind of like pretend if it was in your bottle. What I did was put all the herbs in the bottle, or how much I want it, and then I poured the gel in. And I usually keep this in my refrigerator for three, four, five weeks at a time. I keep putting more herbs in at a time, and over time the gel, which is kind of thick and jelly-like now, will become a little bit more liquid because the herbs are going to infuse into the gel itself and put the properties into the liquid. As you can see now, it's kind of thick. And it doesn't really look like this one. The color has changed. But we're going to set this to the side. And we're going to move on to straining it, and I'll show you how it looks. These are all the herbs that I used. I'm going to put this through a strainer. As you can see, the gel kind of has thinned down a little bit, and it pours really easy. I have a little coffee strainer. I don't drink coffee, but uh, I have a fine, if you have a fine strainer, that works well also. So you just kind of agitate it a little bit and put it through your strainer that way you're capturing the herbs but also getting the properties 
of the herbs that's infused into the gel. See that? Just squeeze it through. And you need a finer strainer if possible because sometimes that birch, if you don't strain it well, you'll have little particles in your hair and nobody wants that. So see, that is more than enough to get me through the day. And I usually use this moisturizer once a day. The reason I chose aloe vera, infused aloe vera per se, over just plain water, and I do use water sometimes, depends on where I am. Aloe vera, I think, is four times, it penetrates four times better than water. Yeah, water does penetrate the cuticle, but because of all the vitamins and minerals and things like that that are in the aloe vera gel, I thought that that would work any better. I don't know if it's the fact of the gel or some of the herbs, I don't know, but I have not done henna, I'll say in about three, three months, and so far, I don't know if it's because of the vitamins and the minerals and all those type things. Let me look at my note right quick so I can tell you the aloe vera mineral because I take notes on everything if I can ever find it. But I'll list it in the description box because the aloe vera, oh my goodness, I think that if it's going to hold on to the moisture better, plus put the minerals and vitamins and especially the V vitamins and things like that in the hair, I'm going to use that over water any day. Plus sometimes, depending on where you are, you don't know what's actually in the water. Uh, as you can see, this hair is everywhere today. It is everywhere. That was another thing. One of the ladies asked me, can you please let your hair down with me? Oh, before we forget, look at this, girls. Look at this. Ngozi, thank you so much. Go to Ngozi Craft. She has an Etsy account. She and I did a little bartering, and she sent me beautiful handmade earrings. I felt so special because I don't think I've ever had anybody make anything handmade for me, but, uh, this was kind of the jam. When I have that hair pin up, you can't tell me nothing. I think I'm looking like a queen. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the thing. But uh, hair is everywhere because this lady asked me to. I had it in twists for two weeks, and I wash in twists. And speaking of washing, I do use the aloe vera gel for a shampoo that I make. And I'm going to make a video of this afterwards, so stay tuned for both of them. But uh, let me show you how it works. We have our gel. We've drained it. Let's get some of that wild hair out of the way. See, there's the grade. It's actually my hair. No, it's not a wig. Somebody asked me that once before if it was a wig. And when it's in twists, I usually get a little bit and squeeze it through. And after the gel, because it doesn't have any oils or anything, whatever oils you want to put through the hair, I usually use coconut. That's my favorite. But let me clean my spoon off. Let's see here. We'll get about a tablespoon of the gel. See, it's nice and brown. Kind of has a little bit scent of the bay, kind of a woodsy smell. Kind of slick, but not too much. Depends on how much moss you use, actually. I usually get it in my hand. See, I don't know if you can see it. It has just a little bit of tack, not much. And that is what I am moisturizing with. This is something that I do with the twist all the way through and moisturizes my hair all week. I have found that this works better for me than water. It, it, it works absolutely excellent. Uh, it gives a little bit of gel. See, look at that, that big ball of hair. Look at that. That's just because I have not detangled in two weeks. So, you know, who knows? Length is not my thing, so I don't care. I like my hair pent up and a little bit shorter looking because all this hair to me makes me look like a crazy person. But uh, as you can see, kind of wets the hair, so it is giving you moisture smells good too and that's how i moisturize after i get my gel in because you know uh the infused aloe vera gel gives you the moisture you also have to seal it in i don't have my coconut oil out right now but coconut almond anything like that that helps to hold the moisture in and i'm going to be washing soon so since that is all nice and moist we'll put a big chunky twist in and then when we're ready to do the shampooing video We'll come back to that in a bit. So I hope you girls enjoyed my number one moisturizer. So get your bottles, get your herbs, get it infused, and let's get that hair to growing. Well, for me, I like it to be thick and healthy, but I don't want it to grow too long. That twisting wears me out. But thank you, girls. And Julie, you rock. And Gozy, thank you again, darling, for my beautiful earrings. But talk to you later. Bye, guys.